All right, so this is Algebra 1. Today's date is Thursday, January 9th, 2020. Um, we're talking about graphs of inequalities. You already were testing solutions, so you have a vague idea of what's going on. Um, just as a review, if I have a less than or a greater than, a less than or equal to, a greater than or equal to, what type of line do I have, a solid or dashed line, and where do I shade, above or below? So, quiet raised hand, for a participation card. When I have a less than, Emma. Uh, oh. Oh, I guess we can read our objective yeah, too. I was gonna say the Yep, exactly. Going forwards, finding the graph, and then going backwards. If I have a graph, what was the inequality? Thank you. Mm -hmm. And it's very tempting to say, well, if I have a graph, what was the equation? But it's not an equation, it's an inequation. It's an inequality. It's the opposite of an equation. It's things that aren't held true. More general sense. All right, so for a less than, what type of line do I have and do I shade above or below with a quiet raised hand? Why? Um, you have a dashed line, and because it less than, I think you would shade below the line. You do indeed shade below the line. Perfect. Another quite raised hand if I have a greater than. Larissa. Um, it would be a dotted line and then above, shaded above. Just so that line and shading above. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. And it doesn't really matter the slope of my line. I'm just kind of doing a random slope. Um, and then what, are you turning your car? You can grab them too. No, no. All right, what about a less than or equal to? I already did a solid line for you guys. So I guess the quiet raised hand is gonna tell me, is it above or below, Kira? Um, it could be, well, so it's below, but it could also be on the line. Below, but on the line, exactly. Thank you. Asha? Uh, for the next one, it'd be a solid line above the line. Solid line and above the line. Perfect, yeah, thank you. I'll take those cards. All right, so, yes, any other question? Um, I'm, I'm looking at the next, I'm looking at the, uh, I'm looking at example one right now. Yes. And uh, I understand. Okay. Cool, so the question for number one, I gave you the points and same thing on Khan Academy. It's gonna give you some sort of graph. It'll give you like a multiple choice between four graphs, but to save space, I just gave you it and then you have to give me, is it a dash line and should you shade above or below? And it's kind of hard to determine if it should be shaded above or below because it's not in our y equals mx plus b form. Thank you. So, how are we going to do this? Well, first of all, with a quiet raised hand, is it dashed or is it solid? I need more people to participate. Eamon's card, yeah. Um, it would be dashed. Dashed line, all right, let's go ahead and make a dashed line, everyone. And then the question is, should you shade above or below? And I'm kind of curious what you guys would do, especially based off of yesterday's lesson. There is an easy way to do that. Thank you so much, Wyatt. Does anyone have an idea of how we would solve? Could we guess and check? Could we somehow turn it into a different equation? Could we test one point? Yeah, Esha. Well, what do you want? So we need to figure out the two coordinates. Well, actually, no, because we need to shade it first, right, to be able to figure out. And then with the coordinates on, we can figure out if it's a solution. Well, not necessarily, because we could just test in terms of the um, inequality without looking at the graph. What would you test? Like, do I think it's being shaded? Like, what do you mean by what I test? Oh, I thought that you were thinking of like a, that's my bad, I was putting my own thoughts on you. Um, but yeah, we could somehow test something with this equation and not necessarily on the graph. Once we test the inequality, I should say inequality, not equation, then we could somehow shade the graph depending on that test. Uh, you want to give it over to Kira? Uh, sure. Okay. Well, I guess you could just... So you got the points there, right? So you could just um, choose two points for... Or choose the point for the x and y coordinates because they're all... I think, I don't know. Well, you could plug those points in anyway and solve. And then if the equation is true, then you'd shade below. Or b above, depending on which point you pick, exactly. What point would you pick? Um, 
negative two. Oh, you want to test this point? If we test that point, we know it's not going to work because it's on the line and it's a dash line. So we kind of know every single point that's on this line isn't going to work. But what if we test a point like here oh, or here or here? Point? We can just pick a random point and see if it works. Oh, oh. Yeah, can I hear from what? Um, because it's a less than sign in the equation, I would probably shade below. But so I pick a point like negative three one. Okay, yeah, so you're choosing the point negative three one. Let's do it. If I plug in negative three one, um, so negative three is the x coordinate and one is the y coordinate. So that means one is the y coordinate, x is negative three. I'll do two times negative three, that gives us what, what? Uh, negative six. Negative six, three times one. Three. Three is less than five. Simplify the left hand side, Wyatt. Uh, negative three. Negative three is less than five. Is that true? Yes. Which means? That that point works. That point works. shade below. There it is, done. Shade below. And you solve this problem. And before we move on to example two, let's ask a more general question. What is the easiest possible point in general that we could pick? Does anyone have like a favorite point that they might like that will make it really easy each time where you can almost do the math in your head? I see why it has an idea. Yeah, Ulysses. Like, one, one. one one is good. Is there an even easier one? We don't even have to do math? No adding or subtracting, Ulysses? <laughs> is it zero, zero? zero, zero would be really nice, right? Because check it out. If I do zero, zero, two times zero is zero. Three times zero is zero. Is zero less than five? Oh, well that means the origin, which is below the line, is shaded and we could do it without even doing any math. Yeah, perfect. So let's try that for example two. I'm gonna be walking around and seeing you guys do this individually and checking with your neighbors after you're done. Go ahead and make a either solid or dashed line and then determine if you should shade above or below that line. Good luck. All right, is there a quiet raise hand that can walk me through this entire problem? Does anyone have their card? Jade, yeah? You have your card? Go for it, Jade, you got this. Okay, so I need to put zero, zero. Oh, did you make a solid or a dashed line? Why? Okay, because of the equal to. Thank you. And then? I plug in 0, 0 for x and y, so I've got 3 times 0 minus 6 times 0 is greater than or equal to 9. 0 minus 0 is greater than or equal to 9. And I just got the So it's shaped below. Yeah, so zero, zero is right there. That doesn't work because that doesn't make sense and therefore we shade down there. Cool. Okay, so let's move on to going backwards. But before we go backwards, I need to do a tiny bit of review. Y equals MX plus V. This is slope intercept form. Quite raised hand. What is the M? What is the M, Asha? Slope. And quite raised hand. Oh, that's not how you spell slope, Mr. Sindel. And quite raised hand. What is B, Amen? Uh, the, the y-intercept. The y-intercept, perfect. Mm -hmm. This point slope form? Uh, not point slope, just slope intercept. Oh. Yeah, I can write it over here. This is slope intercept. Um, that's what I'm going to be uh, testing you guys on for the homework. I'm not going to be doing point slope form or other forms, just purely slope intercept form, or at least that's the one that will at least work for all of these. And is there some way that we can find an equation for slope, well, I need two of them. Let's get Kira's equation, then Y will do the second equation. Um, y1 minus, or Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. And Y, did you have a different one? Uh, yeah, delta Y over delta X. Delta Y over delta X. The change in Y over the change in X. Either of those definitions are going to be perfect for today. All right, so we know those things. We know that in order to get that M, in order to find that slope, when I'm given a line, I can use one of those equations. Let's go ahead and move on to example three and four. So I will give you points. Well, Khan Academy will always give you points, one of them being a Y-intercept and another random point. So I need to figure out what the inequality here is. Help me. I'll help you by doing y, and I'll do, I don't know if it's a greater than, equal to, or less than, equal to, or less than. I don't know what symbol goes there, but I know that I'll have some sort of slope x, and then plus the y-intercept. 
So quiet raise hand for either the Y intercept, the slope, what do you want to work on? Yeah, Asha? Well, I actually have a question, sir. Oh, yeah. Couldn't it, oh, okay. Couldn't it be, couldn't you determine what symbol it is because of the line and the way that it's above the line? Oh, yeah, tell us what it is then, yeah. Well, I need to, you could, it's probably, since it's a solid line and it's above, it's probably greater than or equal to. It is indeed greater than or equal to. Greater than because it's above and equal to because it's a solid line. Thank you. Uh, Wyatt? Um, I think we can find the slope right now. Oh, let's do the slope, okay. Okay, so using Kira's equation, delta y, um, y2 minus y1 above x2 minus x1, we can use the two points already given to us on the graph. So we could probably do um, zero, zero. Zero is uh, the y. y? So y, so like uh, negative three minus uh, negative one above zero minus. Perfect, and I'm gonna pause there before you go ahead and simplify that. I just wanna make sure that everyone followed along with what Wyatt said. We're assuming that y2 in this case is going to be this point. The y coordinate of this point is negative three, negative three. The y coordinate of this point is negative one, negative one, and we subtract it, so we do have a double negative. So that's the y's, the tops, the bottoms. X2, again, we always assume this is point two. The x coordinate of this, I didn't move on the x coordinate, so it's just zero. And then three, because the x coordinate of this point is three. Everyone sees where these numbers are coming from. All right, continue, Wyatt. Okay, so first I solve for the numerator. I do negative three minus negative one, which turns that into a positive. So negative three plus one is okay. negative two. So you have negative two over zero minus three is just negative three. So that also simplifies into just positive two. I guess I can kind of zoom in here. All right, so this two thirds is the slope. The slope is always the coefficient or the number that goes in front of the variable. So two thirds goes right there. And then lastly, another quiet raised hand. I am not done. I need something that goes right here. Yeah, Jade. Um, negative three. Why minus three? Yeah, the, I guess you could also say it's the y coordinate of the y intercept. Or, yeah, perfect. And there's your answer. Go ahead and box it. All right, so example number four is slightly trickier, but I want you guys to try it on your own. So good luck. You can work with a neighbor. You can work in a group of three if you want. Somehow figure out the inequality represented by that graph after you finish. Just check with at least one person and then you could begin on Khan Academy. All right, so for example number four, find that inequality. So I know that I'm gonna have a Y, some sort of less than or equal to thing, greater than or equal to, I don't know what's going on here, and then some X and then some Y intercept. All right, so uh, between Hazi and Ugo, who wants to go first? You can give me anything. There are three pieces of information. You either give me the inequality, you can give me the slope, the Y intercept. Are you doing the, the slope for us? Oh yeah, you're finding slope. So slope is equal to one minus zero, all over zero minus one. Ooh, be careful there. I think you might have done this point minus this point and then this point minus this point. We should keep it in the same order. You can just flip these around if you want. One minus zero. Perfect. Which equals? One. One, exactly. Which one. one over one, which simplifies to just one. one. Precisely, all right. So that means my slope here is one. Yeah, thank you. And if it, the slope is one, you can kind of ignore it and just leave it as an x. Is it a question, Emma, or are you ready to? I'm going to give it to Ugo first, and then you can do the third part. So Ugo, you can either do the y-intercept now, or you can do the inequality symbol that goes here. Uh, okay. Symbol is the last thing. Perfect, yeah, thank you. And then Emma, for the y-intercept? Careful, where does it cross this y-axis right here? Zero. Zero. 
There it is. And then if it's plus zero, you can kind of ignore it. So our final answer is just y is less than x. Cool. So there's the answer, guys. For example, number four, you guys have now 60 seconds to begin on Khan Academy.